Hey, Dr. Brad Murray, High Performance Health. Uh, today, we're going to talk a little bit about what to do with those athletes, um, patients, weekend warriors, whatever you have that have uh, been suffering from some acute knee pain. Particularly, there's been swelling within the joint. Uh, the interior structures of the, the knee joint, like the meniscus, um, your cruciate ligaments, uh, and, and then even the exterior guys, like the MCL and the LCL on the inside and outside part of the knee, when they've been disrupted or when they've been, you know, even partially torn or, you know, just tugged on real well, uh, or even if it's just joint capsule that, that's had some injury occurred to it, you can get an increase in fluid within the joint. This often leads to things like Baker cysts at the back of the knee, uh, where the fluid in the joint has been expanded, and then there's a herniation kind of at the back of the joint capsule itself that leads to changes in knee flexion. Uh, that's often what you're going to see. You'll see knee extension come back rather quickly, um, but you may have to work a little bit harder over the first, depending on the severity, couple weeks, couple days, to get a full knee flexion back. We don't want to go too crazy on a knee until we have that full range of motion back. So I'm going to show you a nice unloaded drill um, that's still uh, very functional to help get that full knee flexion back. Often for me, for most of us functional guys, we, we use squats quite regularly. Um, but if it's still kind of an acute knee, you're not going to have a lot of success trying to get somebody to do a, a normal squat on that knee, uh, especially when that joint capsule has been distended and they've lost it that lost some of that knee flexion. So what we're going to do here is called a kneeling squat. Uh, you're going to get down on the knees. Sometimes you're going to have somebody even that has anterior knee pain um, as opposed to just the, the internal aspect of the knee where this might be a little uncomfortable. So a great spot for the person to do this on can be on even on their bed. Um, nice soft mattress. It's not going to irritate the knee too much. What you're going to have them do is get, get, their, get their knees wide. So you want to have it in a position that's very similar to where their knees would be if they were doing a nice wide, you know, shoulder width uh, in between the inseams of the feet squat. So you want to make sure they're wider. They're going to kind of start this set up, you know, standing tall with those knees really narrow. You want to really get them to be kind of to that wide position, that ready type position that they would be in just as they would begin a normal squat. From there, what you're going to work them to do is to try to get that, those hips all the way back just like a squat, and then come all the way up, full extension of that pelvis, just like you would finish a deadlift, with that hip, those hips posteriorly tilted all the way through, activating those glutes at the top. Someone who has restricted range of motion uh, in one knee, is you're gonna see they're gonna try to give you one of these, where they're gonna try to get away from the knee, get their glutes to come down and touch the heel, on the unaffected side and leave this side nice and open. Well obviously we don't want to have them doing that. You're going to want to keep an eye on their center line and you're going to want them to work in to the affected knee as low as they can go and you'll notice with this drill once they're loaded they'll be able to slowly work down as long as they're loading that knee properly and then eventually nice and equally where they're coming all the way down and all the way up. So. Use this as a good marker of knee mobility as you're getting that back in those early times when the person can't squat and you don't want to just have them on their stomach trying to pull their knee to their butt because that's not going to be as beneficial as getting those hips to come back to that normal type squat form where they're going to be dropping those hips back as opposed to just grabbing that knee and not worrying about what's going on with that lumbopelvic complex. Give this a try with your acute knees. Help them get that full mobility back.